Today, the focus of my presentation is benchmarking and the role of national level statutory bodies, UGC, NCT, and University in curriculum development. Dear viewers, please watch the entire video. At the end of the video, there are MCQs based on the presentation. Dear viewers, let us first try to understand what is benchmarking in curriculum development. Benchmarking in curriculum development refers to the process of comparing educational programs, practices, and outcomes against established standards or benchmarks. It involves identifying best practices, evaluating performance, and implementing improvements to enhance the quality and relevance of education. Benchmarking in curriculum development is a dynamic process that involves continuous improvement and adaptation to changing educational landscapes. National level statutory bodies like UGC and NCT play pivotal roles in setting standards and providing benchmarks, ensuring a unified approach to curriculum development. Universities, with their autonomy, contribute to the benchmarking process by aligning their curricula with national standards, incorporating best practices, and fostering a culture of innovation and quality in education. Let us explore key steps in benchmarking. 1. Identification of standards. Determine the key performance indicators and standards against which the curriculum will be assessed. 2. Data collection. Gather information about existing curricula, instructional methods, and student outcomes. 3. Comparison and analysis. Compare the collected data with established benchmarks and analyze the strengths and weaknesses of the current curriculum. 4. Best practice identification. Identify best practices and successful models from other institutions or educational systems. 5. Implementation of changes. Implement changes and improvements based on the benchmarking analysis. Role of National Level Statutory Bodies, University Grants Commission, UGC Functions of UGC 1. Curriculum Development Guidelines UGC provides guidelines and frameworks for curriculum development to universities across various disciplines. 2. Quality Assurance it plays a crucial role in ensuring the quality and relevance of academic programs through the accreditation process. 3. Research Promotion UGC encourages universities to incorporate research-oriented elements into the curriculum to foster innovation and knowledge creation. 4. Advisory Role UGC serves as an advisory body, providing recommendations on curriculum reforms and updates. UGC's impact on benchmarking, UGC sets national standards, acting as a benchmark for universities to align their curricula with established quality criteria. Through periodic assessments and evaluations, UGC contributes to benchmarking by identifying successful practices that can be replicated across institutions. 2. National Council for Teacher Education, NCT Functions of NCT 1. Teacher Education Standards NCT sets standards for teacher education programs, including curriculum guidelines, to ensure the quality of teacher preparation. 2. Accreditation NCT is involved in accrediting teacher education institutions, promoting adherence to national benchmarks. 3. Continuous Professional Development It emphasizes the importance of continuous professional development in teacher education influencing curriculum components. Impact on Benchmarking NCT standards serve as benchmarks for teacher education curricula, helping institutions align their programs with national expectations. Accreditation by NCT serves as a benchmarking indicator, signifying adherence to quality standards in teacher education. 3. Role of the University Functions of University 1. Autonomy in Curriculum Development Universities have the autonomy to design and develop their own curricula within the broad guidelines provided by statutory bodies. 2. Program Customization They customize curricula based on the unique needs, resources, and goals of their academic community. 3. Research Integration Universities integrate research components into curricula to foster critical thinking and intellectual inquiry. 
Four, industry collaboration. Collaboration with industries and research organizations helps universities align curricula with current industry requirements. Impact on benchmarking. Universities benchmark against national and global standards to ensure the quality and competitiveness of their programs. They participate in benchmarking exercises to identify best practices and innovative approaches to curriculum development. Continuous review and adaptation of curricula by universities contribute to the benchmarking process. Dear viewers, let us solve some important multiple choice questions from the presentation. Question 1. What is benchmarking in the context of curriculum development? A. Creating new educational programs. B. Comparing against established standards. C. Assessing student performance only. D. Designing innovative teaching methods. Correct answer is B. Comparing against established standards. Question 2. Which national level statutory body provides guidelines for curriculum development across various disciplines in higher education? A. UGC. B. NCT. C. NAC. D. AICT. Correct answer is A. UGC. Question 3. What role does the National Council for Teacher Education, NCTE, play in curriculum development? A. Setting standards for teacher education programs. B. Accrediting engineering institutions. C. Providing guidelines for medical education. D. Regulating business school curricula. Correct answer is A. Setting standards for teacher education programs. Question 4. Which function of the University Grants Commission, UGC, impacts benchmarking in curriculum development? A. Promoting industry collaboration. B. Setting standards for teacher education. C. Providing guidelines for medical research. D. Ensuring quality and relevance in academic programs. Correct answer is D. Ensuring quality and relevance in academic programs. Question 5. What is one of the roles of universities in curriculum development? A. Providing national guidelines for curriculum. B. Autonomy to design and develop curricula. C. Accrediting teacher education institutions. D. Regulating research activities. Correct answer. B. Autonomy to design and develop curricula. Question 6. What impact does accreditation by NCT have on teacher education institutions? A. National recognition as research institutions. B. Inclusion in the UGC guidelines. C. Serving as a benchmark for adherence to quality standards. D. Exemption from curriculum reviews. Correct answer is C. Serving as a benchmark for adherence to quality standards. Question 7. How does benchmarking contribute to curriculum development? A. By creating uniform curricula for all institutions. B. By promoting diversity in educational programs. C. By comparing against established standards for improvement. D. By restricting innovation in teaching methods. Correct answer is C. By comparing against established standards for improvement. Question 8. What does NCT emphasize in its role in curriculum development? A. Incorporation of naturalistic intelligence in curricula. B. Continuous professional development in teacher education. C. Setting standards for engineering programs. D. Encouraging uniformity in teacher training. Correct answer is B. Continuous professional development in teacher education. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.